Hi there, thanks for dropping in. I thought today we would talk about personalizing patterns or um, making them fit your needs. For example, a pattern might be a large quilt size or um, a tiny one that you want it larger, the quilt size you might want to make smaller. And my friend Marlene and I were looking at some patterns one day and she showed me this very pretty one. I thought it was quite striking with only the two colors and it um, had a lot of space that you could do a lot of fancy quilting in, but she was going to make one. And when she got home and looked at the size and saw that it was 60 and a half by 60 and a half, it was a lot larger than we had expected, although it was under wall hangings. Now, I don't have walls that large, although I could use the insulation, but I, the, the pattern took my eye and I thought, well, okay, uh, maybe I could adjust it some to suit my needs. And the more I looked at it, I thought, okay, you don't need the entire sky. We could make a long uh, runner um, uh, for a table runner, a uh, bureau scarf, or a bed runner. Add some more on the end, and that would be a lovely winter bed runner, a bed scarf. So I kind of thought, okay, I still don't have enough space. So as I zeroed in a little more on it, I thought, I'm going to try a wall hanging. I have a small space between um, a door and a, and a window, and that would be a perfect size. So when I looked at the dimensions, I thought that'll work. So I decided not to alter the colors. Now you certainly can change patterns by altering colors, but that was a striking, um, the, the white against the dark green. So I thought, okay, I went with a wall hanging using only one of the trees and one of the stars. And um, I was quite pleased with the results. Now, it usually is longer on the bottom, but this was the space I had available. And Marlene was talking to me, and she said, that's a good idea, I'll do a wall hanging also. And she made hers a little different, although we hadn't compared them. She added the two stars, changed it to the bl blue fabric with um, snowflakes on it, which is so appropriate because it was in her stash and made it longer because she wants it for a table runner. So um, laws are not made to be broken, but rules, guidelines, and patterns can be tweaked and nothing will happen. We are allowed to do that, I think. And you can get so many different results when you do make a few changes just to suit your needs. Then I found some fabric that I really liked and I thought if I made another one, I would go with the, the dark color so it looks like it's nighttime with the stars on it and the, and the white is such a, um, a contrast. That's just put on there temporarily to give you an idea. So I thought back to one I had made about oh, eight or nine years ago, which I love and I put up every year and I followed the pattern exactly. Some people that made it followed it quite well, but I mean I'm quite closely. Um, you might want to make all of your limbs the same green color. You might not want to add the embellishments. I have Christmas lights and Christmas ornaments on it. You might not to go, want to go with the embellishments. If you have a tree skirt and you have fabric left over, make your tree skirt to match the one you have in your own living room. Then I thought, okay, if I made another one, I already have this one, why don't I go with a different design? and not do the siding. If I need it for, I, maybe I wanted to uh, um, put it on a um, hanger, a little wire hanger, and did not want the weight off the entire tree. So, pardon me while I adjust my tree. So I thought, that's nice too. Just don't make it, just don't make the two borders, just the one border. And if you don't want to decorate it, you can make it as fancy or as, as, um, as, as appropriate as you want it. So there are lots of ideas when you're looking at a pattern. You have your patterns stash, stashed away because there is something about it you liked, but you're not using them. Take them out again and look them over. Why did that attract you? And what was it about it that you liked? Maybe there's something you can pull out of it that you will make this time. Or some, maybe it was too large, like the one we chose, and uh, just adjust the sizes so that it becomes more appropriate for you. 
So it doesn't have to be just patterns of um, objects or pictures or whatever. We can also go with blocks. Now, for some reason, I decided I wanted to make a churn dash uh, quilt this year. And I looked at this pattern. I really like it, but I couldn't visualize in my head the different sizes. And I thought, okay, I want to get a better idea of the sizes. So I looked and I found the, the directions and they're very easy to find on Google. You can put just put in six and a half inch churn blash, dash block, 12 inch churn dash block, whatever size, and it'll come up immediately. So I tried a six and a half inch one and I thought, well, that's pretty. I like that with the two colors. It's very striking. And um, rather than just have it sit here, I thought, okay, that'll be a good little mug rug or coaster. So I got a better idea of that size. So I thought, well, let's go with a nine and a half. That would be a lot larger. But it didn't turn out to be all that much larger when you look at it this way. But it gave me an idea of the size. And I thought, well, I might as well complete it. So I added the borders and have a, um, uh, just centerpiece for my table. And again, you can make the larger block without borders or put a red border. Whatever you want that pleases you. It's your quilt, it's your project, so you do whatever. Then I decided, well, I do like that, but let's go with a bigger one now that I'm making them. Might as well see what's going on and see what else I can do. So I found a pattern for a um, 36 inch block. And I thought that is really cute. It would make a nice table topper with the right fabric. Um, or it would be a really cute, not a baby quilt, but a, a baby throw. It's not big enough for a quilt, but it certainly is large enough to put on the floor for the baby to play with or to um, put on top of their carriage or whatever. And I was really pleased to see the the, how it turned out and of course you have huge size blocks so it's you can do it up really quickly now these colors are rather muted I didn't want a really bright one if you wanted to try two bright colors I think that would be gorgeous or if you thought well look at the center it's kind of a lot of emptiness there well it would give you a great area to do some fancy quilting or if you still didn't like it when you were making the block, put a, a smaller churn dash in the center and that changes the look of it completely. So there are lots and lots of ideas. Pull out your, pull out your patterns, pull out your books, look at them again and look at the picture as a total. You have it so you must have liked it and see how you can zero in. Maybe you want to make this one long and, and not as tall. Uh, maybe you just want to do the stars. It's, it's pinwheels. So maybe you just want to do the stars. So in this one pattern, I could see about four different variations. And you're not taking away from the author of the, or the designer because you're still using part of her design. I know they work long and hard to put these together for us and we appreciate it, but there's nothing insulting or nothing to say that we can't use part of it for this particular project and maybe part or all of it for another project. So we're still still um, going by the guidelines and uh, we're getting all kinds of new ideas. So I, if I were to do another one or I, I could even take it apart and put the center one in, I think that's really cute. It just adds more. It's more for the baby to look at. And as I say, it could, but that happens to be for a baby throw. Um, you could use Christmas fabric for a um, table topper, table throw. So all kinds of ideas and get to work and enjoy yourself. That's the main thing. Have fun. Look at the different things you can make and see how you can vary it because there are lots of ideas out there. So just throw your little two cents worth in and see what you can get. So bye for now.